Kirk Bowles, three and three, the Texas Longhorns, midway through the 2017 season. Are we seeing the progress that you envision? When you pick them to go nine and three, they got to run the table now. Whew, nine and three, how many miles away does that look God, like? Oh, you're dumb. No, they're, they're an average team, and that's what three and three is. You're 500, you're a middle of the road team. And uh, that's why I asked uh, Tom today, he said, is the bowl game appearance, is that a minimum standard? And he kind of danced around that and talked about being in the middle of the conference championship race in the month of November, December. I don't think you're sniffing that, do you? Even though they have one conference loss. No, because they still haven't played Oklahoma State, which is Saturday. Ooh, ooh, Big game scary. here at DKR. And you got to play TCU. You got to go to West Virginia. Tough game still on the on the. Can schedule. they make a bowl game? Yes, I think they will make a bowl game because I think they're going to beat Kansas. I think they're they could win at West Virginia. They got to beat Baylor. And they got to beat Baylor. And they have Texas Tech at home. So. so yes, I think they'll win six or seven. But but it's a flawed team. It's a flawed team. Injuries up front. Uh, still uncertainty at quarterback. Was Sam Ellinger concussed? I'm sorry. I don't know that I would have put him back in the game. I don't think he was concussed. He, he did not have a concussion, Texas said. And some people said it may have been more of his shoulder than his head. But you would think if that was the case, they would have said it was a shoulder. But he was cleared for practice Sunday and did, did. practice Sunday. But uh, they're probably going to need both quarterbacks. And I don't know how they're going to keep up with Oklahoma State. Do you? I don't think they will. I think Oklahoma State's just too good on offense. Yeah, they're the number one offense in the country, um, as OU was a, a week ago. So I just, I've just really been disappointed in the secondary. I think Chris Boyd and P.J. Lockett both been burned repeatedly. Uh, and the receiving core was a disappointment to me in Saturday's game. How about Colin Johnson no longer listed as a first-team wideout? Dorian uh -huh. Leonard passes him up on the depth chart. Uh, I think that's just a message to Colin that you got to get after it right. a little bit more. We noticed he wasn't running as hard at the end of that right. game, and, and I think the coaches saw that on the film as well. Well, we asked about uh, who played at a championship level because the week before he said all five of them did. He said Gerard Hurd was the only one, and you and I had some issues that they weren't blocking downfield very well and they weren't separating as Sam Allinger extended plays. So they got a lot to work on. Whole lot to work on. Big game, Oklahoma State at Texas, Saturday at DKR. For the Duck, I'm Cedric Golden. We'll see you later.